Yo, 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 what's good with my people? You already know who it is. It's Mr. Lewis. And and today I just wanted to talk with y'all about a couple of different things that I was just thinking on the road. And I feel like I should make a video about it. It's gonna be a couple different parts. The first part that I was gonna touch on was anxiety and you know just how that affects a lot of our people and you know how we we be thinking a lot you know i think it stems a lot of our anxiety anxiety stems from that you know just thinking too much just you know thinking a lot about the past you know a situation that happened um or thinking about what's what's going to happen you know what i mean thinking about some event that you might have or just any anything like that you know what i mean just uh whatever it could be you know so whether you're thinking too much of the past or you're thinking a lot about about the future you know we be doing that you know and that that slows our now down you know it sometimes affects our minds and you know clogs our minds and we can get into this state of just like and not really want to be around people and not want to conversate and stuff like that you know, so, you know, I just wanted to talk about that anxiety and, and the things that we could do that will help with that anxiety, you know, and because uh, I, I feel like I deal with anxiety, you know, not that, not even to make it uh, a part of my identity, but to just be like, you know, we all deal with that. You know, what I mean, we all deal with, you know, feeling like, dang, this might happen or dang, this happened, you know what I mean? Or just whatever, you know, just not living in and out. So that just would be, you know, that anxious feeling. And uh, yeah, I just feel like living in the now, trying to continue to remember where you at, where you at right now, what you got right now, you know, that type of stuff is gonna help you, you know, just remembering that. Remember to live in the now. I also got a book called The Power of Now that, um, that my brother was actually reading. Uh, you know, he just talked to me about some of the things, uh, my brother Jimmy, and it just gave me even some insight on, you know, just like, yeah, oh, like, yeah, that makes sense, being in the now. But another thing that uh, I feel like we have to stop doing with a lot of this stuff, whether it's uh, ADHD or it's anxiety or it's whatever it is, we have to stop making this stuff a part of our identity we have to stop making it seem like this is us and you know and it's not this is not us this is something that's outside of us you know or maybe it's something that was put into our heads but you know this is not our identity you know what i mean this is not us this is something that we're dealing with maybe at the moment you know but nah that's not you you're not gonna live like that for the rest of your life and you don't have to you know, you can if you choose to, if you continue to choose to be in that mind state. But other than that, like, you definitely don't have to, uh, you don't have to live like that. You don't have to have anxiety. You don't have to have ADHD. You know, you don't have to have these things that uh, really are just stemming from your mind and how much, uh, how much power you're giving certain situations. But, uh, so that's another thing, you know, just working on the mindset, trying to make sure that we develop a more stronger mindset, a more confident mindset, you know, a more, just a mindset knowing that, you know, anybody who got the time to worry about what you got going on or think negatively about you, talk talk down on you for any for any reason, there's something wrong with that person's mindset or you might just be doing something. You know, if you're doing something and people are talking negatively about you, then that's different than if you're just living your life, minding your business, being who you are, and then somebody else just looking at you and they just got something to say about you. Or if they just, you know, if you're expressing yourself and somebody, uh, you know, got something negatively to say about you expressing yourself when you know it's not negative, you know, most of the time, you know, people are dealing with things on their own in, within themselves, you know what I mean? And they feel a certain type of way about they so, so they might try to throw this stuff on you. So, um, you know, you just gotta remember, yeah, that, and that, that, that comes with the confidence, the confidence uh, mindset that you gotta have to know like, oh yeah, there's, there's something wrong with these people, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't, I ain't there ain't nothing wrong with me, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, you know, so the mindset, our mindsets is definitely something that we gotta have to 
take control of and start putting more powerful things into our mindsets, controlling it, telling myself I am powerful, you know what I mean? I am, I am this and I am that. And actually living that and being that and moving towards those things and thinking about those things and, and surrounding yourself with people who think like that and surrounding yourself with uh, whether it's you know music or or entertainment or whatever it is that that backs that mindset that mindset up as well. So we got to definitely keep ourselves in the right in the in the right mindset and stay away from people that's outside of that mindset that you know they consistently uh, talk down on your situation or they talk down on their situation or somebody else's situation or whatever. You know what I mean? We got to stay away from people like that and we got to know to how how that we can just nip, nip these people out of our lives in a quickness, you know what I mean? We gotta stop having so much uh, connection and care to, to people that, that, that don't even, you know, uh, that, are, that are not even, that don't need to be tied to us, you know? So I'm trying not to make this a long, a long uh, thing, so I might have to break this down into separate videos. Another thing that I feel like we should work on when it comes to this anxiety stuff, it's clearing our mind, clearing out all the stuff on our minds that uh, we tell ourselves that we got to do, you know, or the things that you have to do. You know, you got to start doing the things that you have to do, you know, so that can be off your mind and start doing the things that you tell yourself that you want to do so that can be off your mind as well. Because it's like when you got a lot of things going on, when you know you got a lot of things to do, and you're like, dang, I gotta be over here, then I gotta be over here, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. You know, yeah, that anxiety starts setting in, that overthinking and just feeling like, you know, all that pressure, feeling all, just however you're feeling is coming because you're not doing the things that you have to do that's on your mind and you're thinking about, okay, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Okay, well, you won't have to get to it, you know what I mean? You might have to spend an extra day doing things. You might have to spend your whole morning to the night doing things and then that's just how it has to work, you know what I mean? So you just gotta do what you gotta do. No excuses. No excuses at all, you know? We can't continue to keep making excuses for ourselves and then, uh, trying to have the world feel bad for us, you know what I mean, when we're not really trying all the way, you know? So, uh, yeah, that's one thing that we have to stop doing. And then uh, I know social media as well is a big key to people's uh, anxiety, you know what I mean? That's, uh, that's even statistics that are out there, you know, for this type of stuff. They're saying that uh, anxiety has went up, uh, you know, um, people killing themselves and all this stuff has went up because of social media, because people are on here, you know, looking for validation, you know, comparing themselves to people and what this person got going on and comparing that to yourself. Like, OK, well, I'm not there yet. And I see this person doing this and that's what I'm trying to do. And you're looking at this person and seeing they wins and seeing they wins and then everybody winning. And you feel like, man, I'm not even doing nothing. I'm not even winning. You know, I'm not this. I'm not that. You know, so. Bam, there you go again. You start the anxiety kicking in. You know what I mean? You you beating yourself up because you're comparing yourself to everybody around you. And that type of stuff we gotta get out of. We not we gotta get out of uh, comparing ourselves to other people's situation and, and just knowing our situation, understanding our situation, like okay, this is why I'm here. Okay, and this is how I'm going to get out of this situation. If I do this and I'll do that then I can get myself out of the situation and continue to keep working towards your situation, you know, so you can keep progressing in your life and moving towards where you want to move to. And then when you look at somebody who is doing good, you don't have to look at them like, damn, they're doing that and I ain't even doing that. You can look at that like motivation. Like you see somebody else doing something, you're like, they winning, I'm winning. You know, I'm on my way. I'm going to be meeting up with them pretty soon. You know, just changing your mindset. So that's all this is really about. Mindset, changing your mindset. Um, and then a lot of a lot of the times, yeah, it is the social media because that's the first thing we doing in the morning to to the end of the day. We on social media, we posting, we looking, we we doing something on social media, we watching, we uh, something, you know. What I mean, so I think like uh, it, even there's people out there that even say this. So you know, I th so let me just say this again. I think we should not be on social media for you know, the first couple hours of uh, our day, you know, you should just wake up, 
try to get your routine in, you know, like I've been talking about as far as drinking your waters, you know, eating your fruits, you know, uh, stretching, doing all those things, you know, knocking out something that you got to do that's on your to-do list, you know, uh, making a to-do list, um, just having a morning routine, you know, don't get on no social media, don't do none of that as much as you can, at least, you know what I mean? I'm not saying like, um, this is something that you, you just got to do and this is just what's something that I'm just doing. No, I'm saying make this, start building this into your mindset and start thinking about this stuff and start acting, acting on these things. So like I was saying, uh, create a morning routine for yourself and a to-do list and, you know, just knowing what you got to do in the morning, get into it. And, um, yeah, just not being on social media for the first, you know, couple of hours while you're doing what you got to do, knocking some things out, you know, doing your stretches, you know, drinking your water, meditating, <sighs> taking your deep breaths. Relaxing, you know, giving thanks, giving love, you know, all those things. And, um, and I feel like if you do those, and I feel like if you do that, all the stuff that we just talked about, you will start curing yourself in a lot of different ways, not just anxiety, but you know, just all the way around. So that's exactly what we have to do. You know, that's what I have to do. You know, that's what I've been telling myself. This is what I have to do. You know, this is the things that I got to start doing more of, you know? So, um, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there and just, uh, talk about that because that was on my mind this morning and I started doing some research on my own, you know, and I started looking into some things and, and, and I feel like, you know what, dang, I gotta have this conversation. I gotta let my people know, you know, when I find out something, I gotta let y'all know. So that was just one thing that tied into um, all the things that I gotta talk about because it's a couple of things still that I gotta talk about and I was trying to do it within 30 minutes. So I'm gonna move on to the next thing. And the next thing it had to do with opportunities, distractions, you know, all those things, this virus, all that, all that stuff. So, bam, there we go. I'm gonna just jump right into the uh, to the mask thing because I said I was gonna talk, I was gonna touch on this yesterday. So, um, I said on social media that I was gonna stop selling masks, and the reason why I said that is because I was like, man, I really don't support this whole, you know, what's going on, basically. You know, I'm, I'm thinking like. Uh, I don't really support this. I don't really support the mask thing. I don't think people should be walking around with masks on and, um, you know, just being all scared of what's going on out here. You know, you just need to be more healthier. You just need to be uh, more aware. You know what I mean? That was my whole mindset about it. And then again, you know, I talked to my lady about it and she told me, you know, but you got to go. She reminded me, you got to go to these stores, you know what I mean? And I'm like, dang, that is right. You do got to go to the stores, you know, uh, and some of these people, are, some of these places are saying that you got to have masks on. But then again, I heard that you don't have to have masks on if you push the issue that the mask is unhealthy. You know what I mean? So or if I got a mask, if I want to go to the store and I got a mask on because they telling us to wear a mask because they protect us. Right. So if I go to the store with a mask on my face, I should not get the virus then if somebody else has the mask, doesn't have a mask on, and um, they walking around coughing and touching stuff and doing stuff like that because they're not saying we got to go in there with gloves on. You know, we ain't got to go into the store with gloves on. So if they touching stuff and I'm going in there touching stuff, but I got a mask on, y'all see where I'm getting to, right? Okay, so do the mask work or do they not work? That's my thing. Okay then, so everybody should not have to have masks on if they don't want to have masks on, you know. I feel like they, them just pushing that issue with the mask thing was just, you know, bugging me and I just, I wasn't with it because I'm all, I'm all with, you know, letting people do what they want to do because that's, that, that's just what life is, you know what I mean? Even though there is a struct, I have a structure to life, you know, that I want to follow and I think other people should follow, you know, and, uh, but at the same time, if you don't want to follow it, well, then, hey, do your thing. Just don't bother me. You know, that's just how I feel about a lot of things, you know, and I feel like, yeah, that should be everybody else's perspective, but it's not. But, you know, I live in my own world, so I, that's how I'm operating. When things outside of that have coming to my things, I'm going to react on that. So that's just how that's going to go. But, uh, yeah, that's why I was saying that I didn't want to support the mask. But then I was just like, you know what? But at the same time, 
people are going to still go out and buy these masks everywhere else and they still won't be wearing them so hey why won't they why not why don't i just sell me a god mode mask and you walk around with the god mode mask when you got to go to the store you know when you got to go into one of these places and you feel like you should have it on or maybe you just feel like okay i just need a mask on because this is this is i feel a little more comfortable with the mask on all of a sudden you know um and if that's how you feel, you know, hey, I'm gonna sell you a mask then. You know, that's how I start feeling a bit. But at the same time, again, I did wanna just let y'all know that it was health risk, you know, um, wearing these masks, wearing these gloves and trying to disinfect everything and not be touching nothing and doing all that because you don't wanna, you know, you don't want to not be around germs and all that stuff because your body, your immune system already adapts you to these germs and it's been doing this since we was kids already. You know, so you don't want to be just germ free because then when you do get a germ or anything inside your body, um, it's going to affect you differently than it would if you was already immune to them. How they say with the and like uh, how they're trying to how they try to uh, tell us with these injections, like okay, we're gonna put the virus in you, so then your body will become immune to it, and then when it does hit you, if it does, then you can fight it off. Okay, so. Why do you need to inject me with the the virus so I can have it when I could just be out here and just get it and my body do, you know, the same same natural thing, right? Exactly. So um, that was just that with the mask thing and with the uh, whole uh, coronavirus thing. That's just my take on it now, y'all. So that's just where I'm going to be at with it, y'all, right now. And just not, not right now, but just forever, you know. My whole thing, regardless, was just stay healthy, you know, continue to do all those things that I, I, I continue to talk about, you know, with, uh, you know, exercising, staying active, eating the organic food, staying around the right people, you know, getting the sun, you know, all that stuff that I, I'm always talking about. Yeah, do that, you know what I mean? Um, continue to do that. If you need to wear the mask, if you feel like that, okay, whatever, that's, that's, that's you. But hey. Uh, we're gonna move on from the mask thing now though. If you need a mask, hit me up, I got you. Forget it, you know, forget it, I'm back home. But uh, you gotta watch this video to know that there's a lot of distractions going on with this whole coronavirus stuff. Not with just the coronavirus stuff, with just, um, uh, you know, 6ix9ine, Takashi 6ix9ine and something else over here, something else over here, something else going on over here, something else going on over here. There's so many distractions going on out here in the world, y'all. So um, we got to just continue to know that, be aware of the distractions, be aware that, you know, there, there are those things outside of us that are just grabbing our attention. That's just taking up our time. Really, that's all it's doing. So when you start giving this stuff your attention, you just, oh, man, I'm just, damn, just in it. You just, oh, shoot, did you know what happened to what so-and-so-and-so? This happened over here and this and this and this. Yeah, okay. All that stuff that you know about this person and that person, what they selling and what this person doing and what that person doing and what they said, it ain't, it ain't, most of the time it's not helping us, you know what I mean? Unless you, yeah, unless you learn about some, some information to try to, you know, get yourself more aware of something, you know, so you can be out here maneuvering a little better. Yeah, that's different. I'm not talking about that. Y'all should know that. But uh, all this other distractful stuff that's going on, just know that stuff is out there and you need to not be worried about that you know what i mean try not when you when you when you see yourself getting caught up into it just ah, nah, it's not nah, see there that they're trying to distract me again you know what i mean you just gotta bam you gotta let it click a little faster in your mind to be like okay let me let me brush that off because it's gonna come you know you're gonna get distracted you're gonna have anxiety you're gonna have you know doubtful thinking you're gonna have all this stuff but you just gotta we gotta be quicker on just blocking that stuff out like boom you know nah, i ain't gonna let that uh Nah, we moving. We moving forward. You know what I mean? I gotta, I gotta learn this because all that time that you're spending on looking at this funny stuff online and doing this and looking at that person, you could be learning something to upgrade your whole living, your whole mind, and everything that you got going on. And you, you could be, hey, did you know about this law or did you know about this license that you can get or did you know about this job or did you know about this skill that we can have and learn, like? We could be filling ourselves up and all this stuff is online as well. We could be learning and looking online and uh, learning about all this other stuff. But um, 
you know, uh, we got, we're got we following too many people on social media that don't have no value for us, you know, um, and we're just, we're just consumed in it so much. And then that's what the algorithm goes back to. to if you touch this, if you like that, bam, they're going to show you that again. So you got to start liking stuff that's going to benefit you. You feel me? So that's what we're talking about right now. There's distractions out there, but there's also opportunities out there. You know, there's so many opportunities in like the mass. The mask thing. You know how many people came up off of just having masks and selling them in the past, like, what, how long? Two months we've been in there? People getting rich off of this stuff. You know, uh, it's a trend. You know, just like when the Pokemon trend was out, people was out buying and selling Pokemon cards. The game was going up. People were selling Pokemon hats and selling Pokemon shirts. I could have been making Pokemon shirts. You know what I mean? Downtown selling Pokemon shirts, doing my music, had a Pokemon song, you know, but just so that I can get their money, you know, and get their attention so then I can give them this goodness, this old organic love, you know what I mean? So that's how I'm starting to see a, a lot of this stuff. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to move more on that way, regardless of how anybody else think, because ain't nobody else. I mean, there, no, there are people out there who are coming out of their pocket to support what I got going on so I can still give y'all this organic love but at the same time there's a lot of people that is, that's just there's there's more people watching than helping you know what i mean so it's just like hey we need more we need more all of us not just me we all need more and i feel like we could do more if we had a little more support from people you know but uh it's good you know we ain't tripping we we doing we we going we going to find a way we got to find a way but um, yeah, again, there's opportunities out there. The opportunities is there. We just gotta be watching and uh, ready. We gotta see the wave coming like, oh shoot, they been talking about this for a couple of days yet. They ain't hit yet, but they talking about this because Yahoo News always talking about something. Oh, this happened, this happened, or oh, this, this, or whatever. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. You know, stocks and all that stuff. You know, people been winning in the stocks. You feel me? Make sure you hit up Ajene. You know, I don't even know her. Uh, her Instagram right at the second. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick because she's doing stocks and options and stuff like that, teaching people how to do that online. It's like, man, there's opportunities out there going on right now because of everything that's going on. So we just got to get more into the opportunities. You know, we got to we got to see more of that. And uh, Coach Nate, there we go, Coach Nate. So just regular Coach C O A C H. N A E Coach Nay hit her up for the uh, options and uh, all that type of stuff she got it going on. She got people winning money I've been seeing, you know, and I'm supposed to be getting into that too. I've just been everywhere. I've been everywhere. But uh, it's definitely on my mind. And I also want to get into more building and more skills, carpentry stuff uh, as well. But again, yeah, that's that's it's been on my mind heavy and I want to get into that as well because I want to mix that with the gardening and the landscaping, you know. Um, that's just what I want to do. There's a lot of stuff that I want to do, but I'm not just thinking that in my mind, like, yeah, this is what I want to do. No, I'm, I'm actually moving, making steps towards these things, you know, and surrounding myself with people who know these skills and stuff like that. So the opportunities is there, y'all. Um, you know, again, you already know how I feel about the health. You already know how I am about the health. So I don't even got to say it. I ain't even got to say it. You already know what's up with the health. We gotta make sure that we're on top of that, but I just gotta continue to let the people know, you know, the gods and goddesses out there, I gotta continue to let y'all know that we gotta stay on this health. Um, you know, uh, what else, what else we got? I'm checking my board right now, I'm checking the board. Okay, um, okay, we gotta make sure that we're checking in, you know, um, checking in, you know, checking in with the people around you that you know are doing good things, that you know uplift you, that you know empower you, you know, check in with the people you need to check in, quick call, quick text, whatever. We gotta continue to check in. I'll be doing it all the time. I'll be out, gone, gone. You know, making it happen, making moves, you know, holding it down. But uh, you know, I'll be having to check in. So like, hey, how's everything going at the house? You know, yada yada yada. Um, but I'll be home on every day, all day, too. So, you know, I be just, I do my thing. But uh, we gotta make sure we're checking in with our people though, you know, heavily. Uh, and other than that, regardless 
we hit we regardless of what's going on you know regardless of what's going on whether you know they got the COVID-19 going on they got this little killer B now that's going on out here that they've been talking about too I don't know if y'all heard about that the little killer wasp that's killing people uh you know they got that going on they got uh racism going on over here you know we got uh we got uh we ain't got no jobs and we ain't got no money going on over here and just all all the uh you know all the things that we got going on around us regardless we our mission doesn't change you know what i mean and uh that mission is to continue to move towards you know um that bag for one you know we ain't even on we ain't on front you know what i mean um regardless we got to continue to move towards getting money, you know, uh, owning something, owning some land, owning some uh, building, owning something, a shop, you know what I mean? We gotta, we gotta stop being consumers so much and we have to move into ownership, you know what I mean? Uh, black people, you know, we gotta move out of the, not that we gotta move out of the entertainment business because if we do entertainment, then we gotta start owning the entertainment that we're doing. We can't just be like, yeah, we're gonna be basketball players, we're gonna be rappers, we're gonna be actors, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. We can't just keep saying this is what we're gonna do and then we keep going up under all these other people's labels and all that and then uh, just working at it and that's all we're doing, like, you know what I mean? And then we're not even really making no difference with our entertainment, with our, our power you know, with our music, and we just out here just because society's norms is shake your butt, you know, uh, twerk, um, do drugs, uh, and every all the all y'all see it on social media. Y'all see what people doing since social media is saying this and they funding this. All these labels is funding this. We all think, okay, yeah, if we do this, then we own and we living that life. You know, nobody got no individual no individuality anymore you know we all following the same things our parents now which which used to not be connected to what we used to be connected to because it used to be teenagers is connected to something different that the adults is connected to and the, and the younger people you know what i mean there used to be a separation there's no separation no more now the kids the teenagers and the the adults and grandma is all on social media we all watching the same thing grandma back there twerking too you know what i mean or she listening to mozzy she listening to you know whoever mr lewis you know um and uh all the oh hey listen i was just gonna get into some other stuff but uh anyway we all watching the same thing we all we all have this this social norm now that's just like okay this is what it is it's what we're doing we just tracked by this did y'all see that yeah netflix chilling okay you know like come on man we gotta come on Come on, y'all. We got to get out of this. We got to get out of this. We got to see our way up out of this. And like I said, regardless of what's going on, we got to get back to ownership. We got to get back to uh, the land, growing our food, building our houses, learning how what this electricity do, learning what you know how to how to be a be a skillful person, you know, uh, in something. Whether that's okay, I'm just gonna learn how to do alternators. I'm gonna do all the alternators in everywhere. I'm gonna have me an alternator business. I'm gonna have me a break business. I'm gonna have a table business. I'm gonna make tables. I'm gonna make lights. I'm gonna make whatever it is that I'm chairs. Just chairs. That's all I'm gonna do. Make millions off chairs. Listen, we don't have to do it all. We can do one thing and that we can make millions with that them breaks. Doing being the best break master in, in whole Sacramento. You know what I mean? So we have to move towards this mindset, being healthy, you know, uh, uh, being more together and using our resources and stop feeling like, okay,